power player this Wednesday is Jamie Dimon, chief executive officer of J.P. Morgan Chase. Just before releasing the bank's third quarter earnings on Friday, Dimon set out to clear the air at the Council on Foreign Relations in Washington. He was once again contrite about the, quote, London whale derivatives trades that resulted in a multi-billion dollar loss. We screwed up, you know, and we, by the way, that quarter, we made five billion dollars. So, yeah, it was a stupid error. And I'm not going to say, I could never, and it was really intensely stupid. If I actually took you through it, it's kind of embarrassing personally to do. I should have caught it also. I didn't. You know, and, but it didn't, it didn't going to sink our ship. Police say they caught a Florida Wind Dixie employee taking extreme couponing to a whole new level. Ibalola Badmus was arrested this day. Sheriff's deputy say she used coupon codes to get fraudulent refunds and pocket $23,000 from the Winn-Dixie in the land. According to the Daytona Beach News Journal, police say the Winn-Dixie where Badmus worked started seeing a strange plunge in the grocery store's profits in February. A Volusia County Sheriff's spokesman told the paper an internal investigation revealed that it wasn't coupon-cutting customers causing the problem, but rather an employee. After an investigation, the Winn-Dixie's loss prevention officers were able to trace the problem to Badmus, who had been reportedly collecting fraudulent refunds from coupon codes since November. November. When store officials confronted Badmus Tuesday, she admitted to taking about $10,000 because she said she needed to pay her sick child's medical bills. But according to Win dixie officials, that number was actually much bigger. They determined Badmus had collected $23,000 since she started stealing from the store in November. Badmus was arrested Tuesday and charged with grand theft over $20,000. I'm going to say we've lost ten or five to $10 billion on various things related to bear terms now. She admitted to taking about $10,000 because she said she needed to pay her sick child's medical bills. The law almost leaves it so vague that... The Tuesday in charge with grand theft over $20,000. Oh. Jamie Dimon is getting a raise. J.P. Morgan's chairman and CEO will receive total compensation of $20 million in 2013, compared to the $11.5 million paycheck he brought home in 2012. Mr. Dimon is getting an increase after a year in which J.P. Morgan posted its first quarterly loss since the financial crisis, and the Wall Street giant agreed to pay more than $20 billion in legal settlements. The board says that the company's long-term performance, market share gains, and steps taken to resolve its regulatory issues justify approving the hike in Mr. Diamond's pay package. An internal investigation revealed that it wasn't coupon-cutting customers causing the problem, but rather an employee. When store officials confronted Badness Tuesday, she admitted to taking about $10,000 because she said she needed to pay her sick child's medical bills. We screwed up, you know, and we, by the way, that quarter, we $5 billion. So yeah, it was a stupid error. And I'm not going to say I could never, and it was really intensely stupid. If I actually took you through it, it's kind of embarrassing personally, too. I should have caught it also. I didn't. Diamond added, though, that Washington made a mistake, in his opinion, by not passing the Bull Simpson tax plan last year that proposed, among other things, reducing the tax rate for top earners. Bobby Rebell, Reuters. The fiscal cliff isn't quite that.